It was very heartening just to hear that our water got contaminated and looking at the color itself, which is the, the yellow plume and watching it go by and knowing that our water, our water resource, it's just like somebody, gosh, it, it's very hard to explain to, to terms and to think about it back then. This is something that was not expected. You know, people were just out there living their lives and, and you know, the interaction with how they live and the river and all the resources that they have out there. Uh, most of all, water. Uh, water in the lands is, is what they live on and that's what they depend on every day. As us, the net, the net people, the net, uh, where water is life and that, that's our life stream right there. And um, people used to plant garden but now I don't see any down here. Or at the foundation are indigenous people who are constantly in our interaction with our natural world, not just in a spiritual relationship, but in cultural, economic, um, just a very foundational relationship. And then all of this is against the backdrop of climate change. So for me, the Hari Foundation funding provides a tremendous opportunity for us to move forward as through a window of opportunity, uh, responding to a crisis, but also informing the crisis with that indigenous viewpoint. I think this project definitely met the Howry Foundation mission. A lot of what we've done is connect and empower the local community to be able to collect their own samples and be able to interpret um, the results from those samples themselves. Um, additionally, with a lot of the uh, teachings and work that we continue doing, I think that it will also create new um, for the students and the CHRs to continue their education in, in um, the environmental health field. There are several uh, good things that this project did. Number one, I was so happy that we were able to partner with University of Arizona and that University of Arizona was able to provide research, uh, hands-on training with my CHRs. That way CHRs, when something like this happened again, CHRs will already know what to do. Uh, if they need to gather samples, they would know how to do that. And then also working with the community people. I felt that with this uh, project, we didn't, we didn't leave the impacted people alone. We actually went into their home and enlightened them of uh, what has happened. And so that they are continuing to be uh, informed of what's going on. We live in a bigger world, a world that uh, has a lot of uh, values infused in it. And so we, we are constantly having to find that space where we can um, find justice, which is, I think, the word that the Hari Foundation uses, justice, not just for indigenous people, but I think a healing justice for all people as we move forward in, with a different trajectory than we were in um, at the time that the Gold King Mine was even started. Foremost, I want to say sincere thank you to the Hari Foundations for allowing us to work with the University of Arizona and implement a project that was uh, much needed. But it's good that um, you guys are doing this research and, and I'm thankful for you guys. I thank the foundation uh, and their response and putting together this big effort, um, the collaboration between the school entities, the universities, uh, a lot of schools are mentioned uh, and, and I am so thankful that they came together in doing research and responding to what had happened to our people. Knowing that the information, we can grow, we can progress, make it a better better future for our little ones so they can help us plan. So yeah, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.